I, I don't don't paint things as much as attempt to paint um, emotions or attempt to convey a feeling. Um, I teach communication law at UCSB, and I have for many years, thirty years, um, examined the impact of uh, violence and sex in the media on people's behavior. Now my interest is heavily into painting. I study the uh, turn of the century, toneless painters, and there's a whole movement of American landscape expressionist painters at the turn of the century, and I'm very interested in them. And so I'm then stealing whatever I can in order to produce what I produce. When I'm outside, when I see a landscape, or when I'm immersed in a landscape, there's a certain feeling that I have about the light, and about the shadows, about the colors, and about you know the air, and, and even the tone of the entire environment. And I want to, com I, I try and communicate that. Um, I'm about expression. I'm about communication. I mean, what is creativity other than individual human expression? And if you l lose yourself in that expression, then something unique and creative will come um, forward that wouldn't come forward otherwise. Wow. There's a lot of work to creativity. You, know, you have to paint every day, you know, or you have to find a way to think about art every day. But you also have to do everything else every day. And to me it's always crazy that we don't foster that kind of creativity in our public institutions routinely. Why, why aren't we constantly, you know, it's always extracurricular activity, you know. Creativity should be curricular. I get at when if you're happy, you feel what I feel, then I feel that I've made some sort of connection with you. That's what, you know, what else is there? Are we done? Yeah.